them. That's your job. They escaped from your city and your jails or whatever. Don't put this shit on me. What's up guys, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and it's time to head to Driftfell City on Let's Play Pokemon White! Last time guys, we got the boat badge, and Bianca made some peace with her dad, so there you go. There is one item I forgot to get on here on Route um, 16. Now, I think it's this guy here. Hey dude, let's train Pokemon vigorously. You, who like training, and you who don't like training. Let's train our Pokemon by giving them these. In any case, we get the Macho Brace! Macho, Macho Brace! A Pokemon's speed decreases when it holds a Macho Brace, but it grows stronger. It's a tool that is a bit difficult to use, but that's that's the way it is. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, now, um, there is another item that we can get. Now that we have the power of the Surf... Um, <laughs> fail. <laughs> yeah, I wish. The power of the Strength HM. So yeah, now we got the Strength HM with the Bolt Badge, we can use it outside of battle now. So, there you go. Alright, before I even continue on, however, let's get that, um, Super Repel out. There you go. Oh, so good there, Super Repels. At least until we get Max Repels. Then it gets even better than that. How's it going? Because all roads are connected, I can go anywhere and challenge anyone. Huh. So the, uh, why are you challenging me, though? Like, we don't got time for this! Well, we do, but I don't want to fight. Oh, well, I guess it can't be helped. And it gets worse, there's also another area to the north of Route 16. That area, um, well, as I might as well show it off. Let's just get through this battle on first. Ow! Quit it. Ha! <laughs> Your bug bite is a fail. Attack! Uh Cock blocked. Hot blocks! Yeah! It's annoying when I get cock blocked like that, when I'm saying something cool and shit like that. And then it's like, oh, oh. Yeah. You can go first, you can protect yourself and shit. <sighs> Making me look like a fool. Whatever. I felt the bond between you and your Pokemon. Yeah, it's really tight. <laughs> no, not that tight. Otherwise than that, though, over here, we get TM66 Payback. Nice. Payback gets stronger if the user goes last. So, like, if the opponent attacks you first, you can use Payback and you'll deal double the damage back in return. So, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Now, over here is an area called the Wondrous Bridge, or Marvelous Bridge, or whichever it's called. That area is not at, or rather, you can't go into it until the post game, so just keep that in mind for later. Now, over here, we can enter the Lost Lorn Forest. Now, let me check my notes. Let's see. Here in the Lost Lorn Forest, you can find Swaloon, uh, Tranquil, which is the evolved form of Pidov, Venipede, Cottony, Pitilli, uh, Wintercott, which is the evolved form of, I think, Cottony. Um, Lilligans, which is the evolved form of Patilli, Aldino in the Shaking Grass, Levani, which is the fully evolved form of Sweetle, um, and Molga in the Shaking Grass, and there is an event Pokemon that you can also get here, but, hey dude, you know, there are people in the, in the world with different values. Some people enjoy things you might not think are fun. Having a lot of different values in the world makes it a richer place. That's what I think, anyway. Okay. I really enjoy traveling around the world and, t and talking with different people, but the woman who lives here seems to think living quietly by herself is important. Huh, is that so? I wonder. Let's go take a, uh, you know, let's go talk to this lady. Hey there, lady. How's it going? Nice trailer home. Huh. Hello? Okay, I guess she doesn't speak much. Huh. Well, whatever. In any case, viewers, there is an event Pokemon that you can get here. However, the thing is, if you brought um, an event Shiny Entei, Raikou, and Entei, 
and stuff like that. It doesn't matter via the relocator or later on the Puke transfer and bring it here and enter the camper and talk to the lady. She'll reveal who she really is. I'm not going to spoil who it is. However, I will make note of the event Pokemon. It's called Zoroark. So there you go. Pure Dark type. And you can get it at level 25. As far as the uh, essence of the events, I'm not going to spoil it, but that's the Pokemon you can find via this event. So, there you go. Those that know the story of Zoroark and, and stuff like that, and its pre evolved form, Zora, there you go. I'm not going to spoil it, however, because I don't have the event on my on my day. I could I, I could check my database, because my, yeah, because my Desume emulator, registering with the game, the Desume emulator creates a cheat um, database. And there are some events that you can a actually hack in via the cheat database. I'll have to recheck that, and if I do have it, then um, I'll see if I can, you know, work that in. But if not, oh well, fuck it. So, there you go. It's not that big a deal. Now that I think about it, I think I used something similar to that when I did the Soul Silver LP last year. Now that I think about it. I think that was to get Latios, I think. I think it was. Hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, it's basically the same method, I think. Otherwise, than that, though, we are done here on Route 16. I don't know what that item is up there because I don't have cut, and honestly, I don't really care. It's probably nothing important anyway. So, moving on, let's actually continue on with the plot now and continue on our way. Next stop, Drift Fail City. First, we have to make a cut through here first. But yeah, as I mentioned, the big courts in the little stadium, or rather the big stadium in the little court, or small court, or whatever, you can fight a trainer in there once a day. It's not that big a deal. It's it's kind of trash. But it's there. So, there you go. Otherwise than that, though, let's head on to Route 5. How's it going? There are performers gathering on Route 5. Oh, street performers. I wonder who writes the news in the bulletin board. Hmm, yeah, I wonder who does. Charizard Bridge? Ooh, sounds sexy. Because Charizard is kind of a sexy Pokemon. I mean, it is one of the best. So, uh, Jaren! Hey, dude. Mike, stop. Uh, okay. You got the boat badge. I've got the boat badge. You know what that means. Oh! Let's test to see who's stronger. You or me. This time, I'm going to win. Jaren, we just defeated you like a couple episodes ago. Can I just travel a little bit without bumping into you and Bianca every time I get to a new place? Ugh, whatever. Well, if you wanna get if you wanna get your ass kicked again so soon, by all means. This is time for a rival boss fight. Versus Sharon. Round five. Our fifth throwdown with the guy. We're basically having a fight with him every time we get a badge. Just it, 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 it's, it's standard now. Now, now that I think about it, I I, I did do a, some recounting of our of our fights with him. Now, from what I recall, we fought him at the beginning of the game, so that's one. We fought him back in um in Striden City at the Pokemon School. That's two. We fought him on Route Three. That's um three. Let's see. Where else? Where else? Oh yeah, oh yeah, we fought him on Route 4. That's 4. So yeah, this will make the 5th battle with him. So, there you go. Foxy! There you go. Good job, Hilo. Level up. Nice. Ooh, high jump kick. Nice. Yes, baby. Alright, um... I kind of don't want to get rid of faint attack, though. High jump kick is really good, though. 130 power, 90 accuracy... And if it misses, the user will take a lot of damage. So, there you go. I, I think I can reteach him Brick Break later. Oh, uh, yeah, I, obviously I did teach Hido Strength because we're going to be needing that for the rest of the game, of course. So, there you go. All right, next up is Strength Will. Let's switch out then. All right, get some reset. Good job, Hido. Reset girl, let's go. All right. Viewers, I just got to say... I think I mentioned this in the last episode, but Emoga is my low-key ace. So, there you go. Attract, baby! Okay, you can get in that weak-ass quick attack. So, there you go. 
Ignoring the 69, because we already know. Alright, let's see here. Got attract. I mean, I, I I didn't have to get attracted. I just wanted to do it, you know, just to piss Charon off. <laughs> so, yeah. Attract is really good. See, he can't even attack! Don't switch! Ah! There you go! One shot! And after using Volt Switch, as you saw before, ah, I can automatically switch Emoga out of battle. And Emoga will still get the EXP. Alright, let's go, Tedo. Good job, Risu. See, isn't that cool? I can use Attract to basically um, infatuate male opponents, use Volt Switch to get in and out of battle, hit the opponent and get the fuck out. Then of course there's Electro Ball, which is strength is based on Emoka's speed. The higher her speed, the better. Of course. And then of course we have um uh what's the other one? Oh yeah, acrobatics. If your Pokemon is not holding a hold item, it will deal some really epic damage. So, just so you know, you know now. That's assuming you didn't watch the last episode, which I basically spammed that information like two or three times. But, you know, you got the abridged version this time. Yeah, use the citrus berry. It doesn't matter. Huh. Mind you, it's not over yet. Sharon, it's over when I say it's over. And it's over now! Matcha! Or not. Damn it, Papa Toad! No, 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 no. I'm not blaming you, dude. It's not, it's not your fault. <sighs> Mud shot the bitch! Now it's over! There you go. Charon, that's a good game! Well, you are strong as usual. Huh, so you admit who's the bigger bro. That takes some balls. I like that. And balls, too. Why? Why can't I beat you? Huh, maybe you just need to train harder, bruh. Or maybe it's because I have plot armor! No, no. Now. Oh, you two are friends. How the fuck did you get here before me, Elsa? Wow. Huh. Maybe she has teleportation magic. Seriously. That's nice. How how helping each other uh how you're helping each other get better by competing, pretty much. Okay, let's go. Where is she leading us? Who the hell is that? Look at that hair. Oh, why if it isn't Elsa? Who's this guy? Aren't festivals grand? Life should be enjoyed. Who is this man? This is Alder. He's Univer He's the Univer Region gym leader. Uh, 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 champion. What? Champion? Ch I mean, I, 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 I guess the hair should be obvious, but he's the champion? Wow. What? Wait a minute. Why would the champion be goofing off in a place like this? Huh, I heard that remark. You're quite a judgmental young person, aren't you? Heh, <laughs> my name is Alder. I'm Univer Region Pokemon League Champion. Wow. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Unbelievable to walk, to just randomly bump into the champion here of all places, right in the middle of the street. Huh, for your information, I'm not goofing off. I'm on a voyage. But if you're not at the Pokemon League, how are trainers... When they defeat the Elite Four, who are they supposed to fight? What? What, what do you just put them in a queue? Wow. I know every corner of Unima. Um, okay. I'm Charon from November Town. My goal as a trainer is to become the champion. Hmm, traveling with a goal in mind is a commendable thing. And what do you plan to do after becoming the champion? Uh, what else is there other than striving to become stronger? The strongest trainer, that's the champion. Hmm, becoming stronger. Becoming stronger, you say. Is that, a, is that a alone enough of a goal? Hmm. I want... It's not that I'm trying to say that your think, way of thinking is wrong. In my travels, I've helped many people learn how... Learn to love Pokemon. And that's important, too. If you play with those children, you might gain more of an understanding. Will you do have a Pokemon battle with those two? You want me to fight kids? I mean, this isn't the first time I, I fought preschoolers in this game, but still. Hey, you two, come here for a moment. 
Uh, okay. Understood. But before that, though. Ah, thanks, dude. Alright, let's battle. Go! It's so time for a double battle! And with this one, we're teaming up with Sharon. Take on these preschoolers. I mean, granted, this is not the first time we you, you had to take down preschoolers in a Pokemon battle. It just seems so wrong to have to fight preschoolers like that. Like, we're just fighting them and just embarrassing them in public in front of everyone. That's sad. But, oh well. That's what they that's what they decided that's what they decided the profession to be. So yeah. Big out bitch. There you go. It's a kick! Damn! That's my boy! Foxy! <laughs> You're probably better off attacking little dude or little girl. Whoever's in charge of that high derrier. Whatever. Let me kick its derrier! High jump or Cherry can go first. Whatever. High jump kick! Yeah! <laughs> Moxie! Awesome. Huh. <sighs> well, that was fun. My Pokemon was so cute. My Pokemon listened to me when I said and fought for me. Yeah, I basically one shotted them both. Cherry didn't do shit. That's sad. Nicely done. You didn't win, but that was a good battle. Your Pokemon looked like they were having fun. Yeah! Getting a high jump kicked in the face! Oh, that's so fun! <laughs> yeah, it's so hilariously fun! Young man, if there are people like you who pursue strength, there are also people who are happy just being with Pokemon. There are many different people and many different answers. When it comes to what a champion should be, you and I may hold differing views, but so be it. Give it some thought. Okay. Let's roll. The Drifel drawbridge is just ahead. Right, right. Hmm. The champion is the strongest of the strong. That's all there is to it. Huh. Charon might have missed the point. <laughs> in any case, it's, treme it's tremendous that people in Pokemon, each so different, can acknowledge each other and be together. Huh, pretty much. But yeah! To run into the champion here of all places, that is fucking insane. But cool, cool. Alright, but yeah, that's Alder. He's the he's the region's champion, of course. So needless to say, we might be fighting him at some point in the near future. You never know. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, he is the champion after all, so we're probably going to have to have a bro down with him at some point. Otherwise, the net, though, avoiding this backpacker bitch. Get this great ball, because it's great! Alright, now, here on Route 5, I guess I should have mentioned this earlier, huh? Um, you can find Leopold, Mancino, Trubbish, um, Garcina, Solosis, um, Aldino, Sinchino, and Emolga. So, there you go. Of course, a few of which are only in Shaking Crass, but you guys need that. Otherwise, in that, though, over here, get this Riva! Perfect. Don't forget, in the dark, in the dark grass, you can have a chance of running into two Pokemon at the same time. So just keep that in mind for later. Or rather, keep it in mind now. So there you go. Should have said that a little better. But whatever. All right, we got that. Let's get out of here then. There are some trainers on the road you can fight, but I don't feel like it right now. I have a life. This way. Hmm. Now to contact him. Hi there, sugar daddy. Uh-huh, it's me, Elsa. Can you please lower the drawbridge, pretty please? I'll give you a present. Oh, I can't, I, I can't say no to that. Lowering it, then. I have a couple trainers who wish to challenge you. Oh, is that so? Oh, you sure bring me a lot of work, girl. <laughs> You're so sweet, sugar daddy. Okay, thank you, bye-bye. Now watch this. <laughs> I know, I, I know, I know. Considering who the gym leader in the next town is, you can see why I made I, I made I made that little tour de force um, little comparison there. But yeah, look at this. That's the Charizard Bridge. Nice. I have a TV gig, so I gotta go. The gym leader of the next town may take some getting used to, but he's such a sweet guy. He pays me a lot of money. Do your best, both of you. Ta-ta. Huh. Well, there you go. What I am is a trainer. 
I prove I'm strong by getting stronger and winning in battle, even against the champion. Okay. You go do that then, Sharon. Oh, it's, oh, okay, okay, never mind. It's just the Drift drip Bell Drawbridge. I thought it was called the Charizard Bridge. Huh, whatever. In any case, let's see here. Um, I guess that was it. Oh, well, let's get on the bridge then. Sometimes above the bridge, you can see the shadows of a bird Pokemon, right? Their feathers drift to the ground here. And when you try to pick them up, occasionally you'll run into a Pokemon. Huh, is that so? Huh, is that a shadow? Oh, it's just a wing. Yay. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> there actually is a Pokemon you can find on, on this bridge, though. Know, um, Ducklet. Ducklet is water slash flying type, by the way. So, it's, it's, it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. I want to see if I can actually run into it, though. Hmm. When the ship passes, the bridge raises and lowers. But Clay controls when the ship runs from the start. So when the bridge raises and lowers, it's up to Clay. Who the hell is Clay? Hmm, whatever. This is a long-ass bridge. And I'm just walking away. Ah! Damn! Uh, I, wanted, I wanted to show off ca um, catching a ducklet. Not that I was planning to use it on my team, mind you. I'm just saying. But you kind of got to walk a little bit to make sure that you actually run into it. Especially when you get to this part of the bridge, that's when it starts to get a little difficult to see. Hmm. Hey, dude. When Drift Veil is mentioned, it, what comes to mind is the cold storage. And Charles. Who's Charles? I guess we'll find out. I'm a romantic. My name is Charles. Because we've arrived at Drift Veil City! Wow, it's snowing here! Cool. How's it going? Bridges are amazing because they are the symbol of connecting the world. But the guy on Route 5 is saying the same thing, isn't he? Uh, oh yeah, I didn't even talk to him. <laughs> Whatever. In any case, so how about the city's pride and joy, the drawbridge? We also call it the Charizard Bridge due to its elegant form. Oh, so it is a Charizard Bridge. Okay, well never mind. I just didn't see any wings there, so I assumed it really wasn't. <laughs> Whatever. In any case... Uh, huh? Hey! Mm, so you're the trainers Elsa was talking about, eh? I'm Clay. I'm the gym leader around these parts. So, you're the gym leader who we'll have to fight. Look at that guy! He looks like someone, to, like, right out of Texas. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to stereotype or anything, because he has the, you know, the cowboy, um, hat, you, you know, cowboy car dealer hat and shit. So, yeah. I'm not trying to put down anybody from Texas and shit. I'm just, uh, I'm just saying he, he very much looks the part. Just wait till we see his sprite in battle, then you'll see what I'm talking about. Don't be expecting no welcome now. Okay. Because when we lowered that bridge, the team pl plasma guys we caught done escaped in all the ruckus. Okay, so are you actually blaming me for your incompetence then? What a bother. We're grateful that you lowered the bridge, but how is it our fault that they escaped? I mean, don't you have some kind of good security jail here to keep them locked up and shit? How is it that they, they escaped so easily? You can say whatever you want, but what's important is that when y'all showed up and then Team Plasma escaped. Maybe it's a little heavy-handed, but you, you ought to start looking for Team Plasma too. Why the fuck do we have to look for them? That's your job! They escaped from your city and your jails or whatever. Don't put this shit on me just because I happen to just walk into town and shit and you were nice enough to lower the drawbridge. You could have said no, dumbass. You're both talented trainers, aren't you? I ain't gonna be able to just blame me for shit randomly and it's not even my fault. And then I still have to pick up their side of the slack. Bullshit. Tell you what, if you find Team Plasma, I'll let you challenge my gym. Oh, so now you're giving us incentive, huh? Wow, what an asshole. I just met you and I don't even like you. Life's all about give and take. Okay, how about this? How about you give me the gym badge while you take on Team Plasma? Because it's your fault that you ain't fucking escaped. Wow, what a bitch. Well, I suppose that's fair. No, it's not fair. They escaped from him! Ugh, whatever. But re 
really would we would have looked for Team Plasma even if they hadn't looked. <laughs> Speak for yourself, dude! I can get stronger while beating that bothersome bunch. It's no different than fighting a rocket grunt. In any case, Mike, I'll go on ahead. Y yeah, you go do that. Wow. We got trapped as soon as we got into the damn city. That is awful. I work in the cold storage. Ghost storage is in the southernmost part of the city. Huh, interesting. A terrific trainer, let me share a training tip with you. During a battle when a trainer, with a trainer, if your Pokemon's items are taken away, don't worry, they'll be returned to you safely after the fight. But disposable items seem to disappear. <laughs> so yeah, if a potion gets stolen, yeah, that's going for good. So yeah, let's say if a trainer, a trainer's Pokemon used Steve for one of your Pokemon and it was holding a, a potion. That potion's gone! So, yeah, it's, it's like those vices in Final Fantasy IX that just steal your shit and just run away. Yeah, wait, wait, what, I missed that. Those Team Plasma meanies forced me to battle them, and when I lost, they stole my Pokemon. Oh, shit. Wow. Well, maybe you can blame Clay for that. He's the one that let them escape. Hell yeah, the professor gave you a Pokemon to start your journey, right? Yeah. If that Pokemon is still with you and, and you two have a strong bond, there's a special move I can teach it. Want me to teach you a battle combo? Uh, yeah, what is it? Which Pokemon should learn the move? Well, yeah, as long as you, if you have your starter in the in the group, they can learn this move here. F yeah, Fire Pledge. Let's see. How much strong how much strength does it have? Let's take a look at it. Fire Pledge. 50 power? Damn, that's pitifully weak. A column of fire hits opposing Pokemon. When used with its grass equivalent, its damage increases into a vast sea of fire. But, that would assume that we have another starter in our team. That, this move is trash. Yeah, fuck that. I mean, seriously, the least you can teach is like, maybe Blast Burn, Hydro Cannon, Frenzy Blend, you know, those classic Hyper Power-esque moves. Wow. What the fuck am I gonna do with a move that's weak as shit and I don't have the other starters in my team to utilize the other moves in a combo? How fucking dumb is that? Uh, when I win, it's because of my Pokemon. When I lose, it's because of me. That's how I always think. If you think concede it, you'll get sloppy fast. Heh, <laughs> speak for yourself. Otherwise, the net, the, uh... What's this guy doing a motorcycle in here? Hey, dude! I'm a heartbreaker. My name is Charles. Oh, yeah, we heard of this guy. I wanted to get the attention of a girl like, so I learned a new style of Pokemon battling. It's called Triple Battle. Would you like to learn about it? Oh, uh, if I'm assuming what I know from Double Battles, I would assume it's three Pokemon in, in the fight, right? Oh, oh, so I gotta learn it? Yeah, oh well. In Triple Battle, yeah, you send out three Pokemon at a time to battle. Just make all your opponent's Pokemon faint. And that's the rough explanation of triple battles. Now, in Pokemon Black, he introduces rotation battles. I'll get into that when I eventually do that LP, but I'm not getting into that right now. Yeah, pretty much. If you're a trainer, how about it? Yeah, might as well. You got a good attitude, don't you? I like that. I'm a heartbreaker. My name is Charles, which I just said three times. I'm always at full throttle, even in the bedroom. It's time for a triple battle! Now, our first triple battle in the game versus Charles. Look at that beer belly. Oh, God. Digging it, though. Digging it. I got myself a miniature beer belly. So, I can... I, I, I can see. It's pretty nice. Alright, in any case, yeah. We face up against three Pokemon in one battle. It is awesome. In any case, that, that little fish Pokemon over there, um, Basculin. Yeah, it, it's it's the Magikarp, uh, uh, Magikarp of... Uh, of Gen 5, but way better. So, just want to point that out. Alright, let's go for a high jump kick on, um, on Krokorok. Let's see. Actually, I could get in a muddy water, and I think I'll do that. Alright, pretty soon, let's get in a Electro Ball on basketball. Let's do it! Elegy Ball! There you go! You go, girl! That was easy. Alright, who's next for the slaughter? Good job, seize the blood. Uh-oh. Ow! Quit it. You're 
His spark is weak, dude! And he wanna! And your Krokorok is too. Bye bye! And they're gonna get off an attack on me. That's sad. I mean, I, I give them no chance. Yeah! <laughs> nice! I want more! Give me more! Yeah, uproar! And! Boat switch! Go! Damn it! Uh -oh. Are you done? Cool. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Kick him in the shin! <laughs> nice! Moxie! Charles, that's good game! Heartbreaker, your name is Charles. I'm digging it. In any case, whoa, that was embarrassing. Getting to school when I was planning to teach. Still, you have potential. You have to understand your Pokemon to win the triple battle. If you want more triple battles, you should go to Appaloosic City. Appaloosic City? Hmm. Good to know. Thank you, Charles. But yeah, triple battles are actually pretty fun. They are way better, in my opinion, than, um, than double battles. That's just in my opinion. This is the Driftville Shopping Center over here. Show me a Pokemon with level 30 or more. Ooh, strong. You're, you're great. Take this. Thank you. We get the Expert Belt. Nice. Yeah, get more Expert Belts. If Pokemon has an Expert Belt. The power of its moves is slightly boosted when they're super effective. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, dude. Looking at seasonal vegetables is fun. Because when the seasons change, the vegetables available change. Cool, thank you. The medical herbs imported from another region work very well. But Pokemon don't seem to like them because they taste a little bitter. Yeah, and your Pokemon will hate the shit out of you if you give them medical herbs. So needless to say, don't buy this shit. Unle unless you want to make use of the move Frustration. But outside of that, just don't. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm all sold out. That Charles guy brought everything I had. What the fuck did you sell here that he brought all of? You, you know what, never mind. Goods carried away from Driftville arrive in a town somewhere else. Yeah, the world is connected, baby. And in any case, welcome! Moo Moo Milk. Oh, you sell Moo Moo Milk. Nice. I think I'll get a dozen. There you go. Now, of course, if you don't have the money to buy Hyper Potions, Moo Moo Milk is the next best thing. Slightly HP, slightly weaker than the Hyper Potion. It only restores about... I think 100 of your Pokemon's HP. In any case, come over here. Ha! Secret passage! In this day and age? Nice. But yeah, you get a big pearl. It's not that big a deal, honestly. Even though it's big, it's not a big deal. In any case, viewers, let's head on south here. Um, let's see. There is some other parts of Driftel that I want to check out, but we'll check that out later. Unfortunately, there's trainers here. Yay! <sighs> all right, viewers, I'm back. Whew, I took out all the trainers in the area over here. Now, before we head on further south, get this pee, -pee up in the trash can. Yeah, why would they throw Viagra in the trash can? Hmm. Well, whatever. I guess, I guess some guy didn't need it anymore. <laughs> I can get my man sick up now. No, no. In the case, there be an item ball here. I got it off screen. It's an, um, it's, it, it's just an ether. It's not a big deal. Over here, though, we get a protein. Nice. Why are people throwing all this good shit away? Hmm. The protein increases your Pokemon's, I think it's EV or IV or whatever. Um, the protein increases their base attack by one. In the case, hey, dude, a helmet is an important tool for shock protection. It's good to let your Pokemon have one, too. In the case, all right, we get the Rocky Helmet Hold item. Nice. If you let a Pokemon hold a Rocky Helmet, the foe will also be damaged if that foe's move makes physical contact. Now, viewers, in the past, I have used the Rocky Helmet on Emolga. So that way, if Emolga gets physically attacked, not only does the opponent have a chance of getting paralyzed with her static ability, but also will be taking damage via the Rocky Helmet. That's a combination that I recommend that you equip with your Emoga. But if you want to make use of her acrobatics and stuff like that, then you might not want to equip her with it at that, you know, 
with that. Just that's just a small little suggestion because I've used that myself in the past. So I'm just giving you a recommendation. Here's the vending machine if you need to buy some drinks, but I don't. Now here in the cold area, the Pokemon you can find here is Hardarier, Machino, Timber, a new Pokemon, Vanillite, which is pure ice type. Aldino, Cinchino, and Stoutland, which is the evolved form of Hydaria. Stoutland is a big-ass doggo, so there you go. In any case, ah, there's Charon. Hey, dude, Mike, do you think Team Plasma could be in there? I don't know where else they could be. I don't like cold places, but we have to check. What a bother. Maybe get a... a, a I don't know, maybe get a sweater? I mean, it is kind of it is kind of snowing out here. I don't know, Jaren. I, 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 I don't know. I mean, I, at least I'm wearing a jacket. Why aren't you wearing anything? You have no excuse. So, yeah. Oh, but I'm so cold. Get over it. In any case, the reason why Clay is having you look for Team Plasma is because he's testing your abilities. Are you serious? So the reason why he drafted as soon as we got in here was to test our ability? I mean, you would think, I mean, we, we beat Elsa, and so I'm assuming he knows that. I mean, he is her sugar daddy, it seems. But, I mean, come on. Seriously, he drafts us as soon as we get into town to fix his mistakes. Wow, epic fail. But in the case, viewers, we made it to the cold storage. Can Team Plasma be inside? And if they are, can we stop them? And will I smack Clay upside the head for volunteering us for this? Find out next time. You guys enjoy it, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for gaming bits from me. Hit the bell so you don't fight whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. Till next time, dudes do that. Smile from Rage Break Gaming. I hope your Rage Breaks. Have a good day, bros and brosettes. Smile you later.